Uh, you're at the Mass right now. What's the latest from there? Well, I have to say the atmosphere here is quite electric. What with music, dance, rhythm, they're singing in various harmony. Clearly an emotional moment for the people gathered here. The Pope arrived at the stadium. This is the Endolo Airport. Uh, it is essentially the second airport of the capital, Kinshasa. And the local authorities have said that they estimate that over a million people are currently here at this uh, special mass that has been arranged, presided over by Pope Francis in order to celebrate uh, his arrival here. The first time that they're seeing a papal visit in some 37 years. Now, the Pope was very clear yesterday, as you mentioned, talking about economic colonialism, about the exploitation of the rich resources of a country like the Democratic Republic of Congo, but other countries in the African continent. I think it was a very clear message about respecting the people here, respecting their resources, but also a message of peace. I think that really is the main message he's bringing across uh, to his visit to uh, Congo, but as well as to South Sudan later in the week. Peace and reconciliation. Understanding that these are two countries that have long-standing conflicts here in Congo, it's in the eastern part of the country where more than 120 armed groups are fighting the uh, authorities here as well as each other for resources and power within that part of the country. Now, one of the main groups involved are the M23 rebels, some uh, a group that has carried out attacks in recent weeks. And the UN estimates some 5.7 million people have been left as internally displaced, forced from their land, forced from their source of food as well. And so they're dealing with issues such as hunger. So now those are some of the issues that the Pope will talk about when he meets some of the victims of this violence uh, later today. But for the moment now, here it's a moment of celebration for Pope Francis, uh, yes. um, a chance for the local faithful to see him up close and personal. He he did a round of the space in the Port Mobile, and there was a lot of excitement during that moment, I have to say. All right, Seema, thank you so much for that update. That's France 24's Seema Gupta, uh, who's following Pope Francis.